Growing up in the 80s and 90s, I really looked up to celebrity athletes, right? People like Michael Jordan, people like Wayne Gretzky, and even players like Scottie Pippen. Well, we're going to fast forward 40 years. And unfortunately, those same people are now just shitcoin grifters in some cases. Scotty and Good Dave. to be here, Christine. Thank you, Lawrence. Welcome to the spaceship. We love Thank the you. spaceship. It's a <laughs> nice set. You guys did a beautiful job. Oh, well, we love what you created. Now, you have this exclusive and limited sneaker collection, which takes inspiration from Scotty's career. That's a video from last year. Okay, that's Scotty Pippen shilling an NFT collection. Now, just for the sake of argument, let's see what would have happened had you have bought into that NFT sneaker collection. Okay, here we are on CoinGecko, and let's take a look. Here's the Scotty Pippen SP33 price. All right, so here we go. These are the uh, NFTs of shoes. So you can't actually wear these shoes. You can't actually use these shoes, uh, but you could store a digital representation of these shoes in your in, in your shitcoin wallet. So yeah, lots of. Uh, Lots of great use case there, I guess. Um, so yeah, you guys are seeing this right. $400 all the way down, guys, all the way down to 38 bucks. Now, it, I mean, look, just some simple math, right? Just some simple math. You're down 96%, okay? You're down 96%. That was last year, okay? Now, all of a sudden, we start to see these ridiculous tweets from Scotty Pippen like this. Hey everyone, it's Scotty Pippen. I have the game five ball from our first championship win against the Lakers in 1991, right here, 33 years later. I'm making history again by tokenizing this historic ball. He's not he's not tokenizing the the historic ball. What he's doing, what what he's doing and and I'm I'm really hoping that it's just his uh his marketing uh department like I'm I'm hoping that it's like his promoters that are just kind of this stupid and they're like Scotty, you need to make some money, you know, or something like that. I hope it's not coming from him. And again, right? That that's just because I grew up watching him play basketball, right? So there, there's like a special place in my heart for Scotty Pippen. Um but look, that that ball is not being tokenized, okay? There is something real in this space that is a real problem that seems to get a lot of people um, just completely confused, okay? And this is called the Oracle problem, right? So essentially, Bitcoin is the only actual crypto, and I hate to use that word, but Bitcoin is the only one that is truly tethered to reality through the mechanisms of proof of work. Okay. Now these shit coins, there is an illusion of being tethered to reality, and it's kind of done through the this thing called an oracle. Scotty Pippen is showing you this ball, and he says, "Hey, we're going to make an NFT out of it." Okay. Now the oracle for this NFT is essentially the centralized platform that um, where this NFT is being hosted and created, so to speak. Now, if Scotty Pippen goes and makes uh, a thousand NFTs of this game ball. None of it has any true attachment to the game ball, meaning that ball can then be sold. The real ball itself can be sold to someone else. And you as a holder of the NFT, you're none the wiser. You had no say in that sale, nothing. You, you have absolutely no rights to that game ball. Okay, you have none whatsoever. The only thing you actually have, and it's not even uh, rights, but the only thing you actually have is a pointer to a digital representation of that ball. Okay, it, now if you don't understand, I'm going to make it simple. It's vaporware. Okay, this is a grift. That's all it is. Scotty Pippen is a celebrity, he's very well known. Lots of people like sports and respect athletes, and this is a way in order to extract money from your fan base. That's all.
And we already proved it with his previous NFT collection. So look, if celebrity NFTs were so important and they're so great and they're, they're such a store of value and a piece of history, why is it that they're almost every single one of them is down 90% plus? There's got to be a reason. And there is. The reason is it's hype. Then it's a pump. And then it's a dump. That's all. And finally, on July 30th, okay, he puts out this tweet, which again, right, this is a, this is just borrowing credibility. He has no idea. He has he knows nothing about Bitcoin. Let's be honest. So here we go. I had a dream. I met Satoshi Nakamoto last night. He didn't see me as just another player. Instead, Satoshi was proud that I was opening a new lane for real world assets. Now, real world assets. It, this is bullshit. Okay. Again, these are just words to make you feel like you're not being scammed. A real world asset is an actual real world asset, something tangible. These are digital representations in order to extract value from noobs. That's all. Anyways, so he's bringing the game ball five to the blockchain. Uh, let me pass history to the community, innovate sports and bring a real world sports object to decentralization. Guys, it's, it's all just fucking nonsense. And the worst part about this is this, right? Again, this is how you borrow credibility as if Scottie Pippen didn't already have enough credibility. Okay. Like, like think about that. He was already up here and now he's shilling shit coins. So you know what that does? That takes his credibility from up here and it brings it down. That's all. So he already had all this credibility. And then he goes in and essentially uses this ridiculous grift narrative about Satoshi Nakamoto being proud of him grifting noobs with digital representations of basketballs. This is not real and this is not true. Guys, I, I know that there'll be a bunch of other channels that are sitting there telling you how like, oh, this is a, this is your chance to get a piece of history and it, it's a store of value and you're supporting the NBA. You're not doing any of that shit, okay? All that's happening is you are giving your money for something that does not exist and will only trend to zero in the long term. You know what? I, I, I had mixed feelings on on doing uh, this particular, this particular clip um, just because I feel like I've done so many of them, but the problem is this, right? I, I also feel as though there aren't enough of us that are willing to expose these, because look, in all fairness, these clips, these, these videos that, that I make about this kind of stuff, it does not, they don't get a lot of views. Okay. They don't get a lot of views. They don't get a lot of clicks and they usually just get a lot of hate. Okay. Because people want to believe that their bags can pump. Okay. This is the thing. Like people do not see this elephant in their brain where they, they just need to validate that use case. So if somebody like me comes out and says something that is obviously in opposition to their hopium, it's all personal. And now you've got to defend, you've got to defend your thoughts. You've got to defend your hopium. So, like I said, these videos do not do well, but to me, I, um, Having been in this space since 2017, having been wrecked by shit coins in that cycle, okay, um, I, I I feel that it's something that is necessary. I, I feel that these videos should be made, and as much as they'll piss off some people, you know what? If I can stop one person from getting grifted, okay, and 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 actually be like, hey, you know what? I'm glad that I didn't fall for that crap because the reality is this: you're not going to buy the bottom, and you're not going to sell the top, okay? That's not how that works. The majority of the volume is all in the middle. Okay. So you're not buying that bottom. You're not selling that top. You're not like, you're just not making the 25,000 X that you think is being made. <laughs> you're just not. Okay. The real winners in this, the real winners of all of this stuff are the people who create it. Okay. They are the real winners. And then what they do is they then extract the value out of you. Okay so that they can go and build something else that will extract value out of a new set of noobs. That's it. Anyways, uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about today. Scotty Pippen, down bad, man, down bad. You, you, don't, you don't have to, you know what? I, I actually responded back to one of those tweets last week and I said, man, all you had to do was learn about Bitcoin. And it really is, I, I, I don't understand what it is with these people that have to make this shit about themselves right? Like I make a token and it's about me. Like we're not so important. Okay. And that's what I think a lot of Bitcoiners end up realizing because Bitcoin isn't about us. Okay. 
It's not, it's not about me individually or anything like that. What it is, is about taking back the power from the central bankers.